We are going to start with the third session, which is we have to perform some operations on table. We are going to insert the data, we are going to edit, we are going to delete the data or the rows in the table. So that is a manipulation of data is there, setting the primary keys, setting up different properties of the fields and columns. And uh, we are going to create the relationship between the tables, how this relationship is really helpful for consistency of data. We do not have to enter the records every time in each and every table. So how this relationship has you to reduce your work as well as maintain the integrity within the database. But before that, we will see how to set the primary keys in the table. If you won't set the primary key, what will happen? And what if you want to set the primary key on your own, like roll number you want to assign as primary key. So how can you do that? open base. Now I'm going to create some tables over here. When you close the table or when you click on the save button, it will ask you to save the table. So when you click on yes and give it a name like student. Again when you click on ok, it will prompt you that you have not given any primary key. So you want to give it, click on yes. It will automatically add a primary key field. Let's see in data sheet view where we are going to enter the data. There you can see all the fields and the primary key field which is set by OpenOffice Space. And that field is ID. And you can see that it is written auto over here. Means it will automatically add a value on its own. I do not have to enter any of the value here. So let's enter some records. So now you can see that it is automatically has given one. Previously, I have added one more record. So it will always start with zero and then one, two and so on. I have deleted the record which was given the ID as zero. After I do records, I'm going to save it and then close the table. Now let's create a table where I'll tell you how you can assign a key field. We can make changes in this table itself. So right click and edit. This is the design view. Now suppose I want to assign roll number as primary key, I can do that. Right click and set it as primary key. Now I do not need this field ID, so I can delete this as delete. If you want to set name as primary key, right just right click and set it as primary key. This is how we set any of the column as primary key. But you should know which column you can set as primary key. The column which you are setting as primary key should have all unique values. The values in primary key field or column does not repeat. Next is how we can edit the records in the table. Let's insert one more record and then we will come to how we can edit the records and how we can delete the record. So I'm coming to this one and let's add another one. After adding the record, suppose I want to change this. So there are two ways. I'll just uh, click on that particular cell and then I can make changes. This is one of the way. The second way is we just select the field then we have edit data so we can edit the data in this field click on edit data and then it will help you to edit the data going to learn how we can let's see how we can delete the data so now suppose i want to delete the second record or any of the value so what i can do select that particular cell right click and then you have delete so this is how you can delete any cell content. Suppose you want to delete the whole row, just right click over here and you have delete row option. So this is how you can delete the data as well. You can see the second record has been deleted. Next we are going to learn about the field properties. For that I'm creating a new table and let me enter some columns over here. After that I'll tell you about the field properties that I'm going to set and how these properties are going to control the entering of data in the fields. These are different data types that I have taken for my columns for a number is number, for name is text where care, for date of birth is state and for country again is text where care. Now for a number when the data type is number uh, we have different field properties. Entry required means you want the user to enter the data. Is it compulsory for the user to enter the data or not? If you say yes the user has to enter the data. If he skip the field base is going to from the user to enter the data in that particular field. For name, text where care, data type is there and the length is 50. Means 50 characters could be entered in 
this field. I am reducing it to 6 and it means that maximum 6 characters can be entered within this field and uh, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but maximum 6. Now for date of birth, I am selecting a format. So I am clicking on these 3 dots and I am selecting this format. Click on OK. For country, by default, I am taking the country as India. In case the user want to change, he can or she can change it. Now, when you select particular property, the description of that property is also here. So, we have seen what is entry required. We have seen what is length, default value and format. So, let's click on save. Click on OK. And you can see that I have not given any primary key over here. So what will happen? It will prompt me to set the primary key. So I, I say yes. And you can see that the primary key is automatically added as ID field. Now you can see there is one more property auto value. Auto value means automatically the value will be added by base itself. So it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So I'll say yes. And then again save the table and close it. Now let's enter the data here. Auto value. By default you can see the country is visible here. In case you want to change you can change that as this field is auto field so i do not have to enter any value here so you can see the format automatically changes whatever you have selected observe this thing that automatically the zero is added here now the next value is going to be one and if you want to change the country you can do that as well let's change the country here so this is how you can change the country you can see that it is telling you value too long in the statement inserted do student country date of birth name and roll number value why the error message was there because an image has seven characters so i have to reduce the characters i have to change the name so let's change the name and when you click on save it will not give you any error so this is how it works twice the properties over here id field was having the property auto value so it was automatically incrementing the value it starts always from zero date of birth the format we have set so any format that you use but automatically it will take this format and for country we have set the default value as india which was appearing over there however you can make the changes for name i have changed the length to six so if i entered more than six character it has given the error so i hope all the properties are clear to you the next topic is sorting the data sorting means to arrange the data in ascending order or descending order means A to Z or Z to A. So please do not write that sorting out some problems and all that I have seen some student has written because they have not gone through this concept. So they were just using the logic sorting means uh, sorting out some problems. It's not sorting the problem but to sort the data in ascending or descending order. In your data sheet you just select the column and then here you have the sorting orders of A to Z ascending z to a or z to a is descending so i'll select the column and then i'll say a to z and accordingly every record will take the position now according to roll number it is being sorted in descending order now if i want to set in descending order i can do that so this is what sorting is i hope that every concept is clear to you in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and tune into my channel for the coming videos in the next video, we are going to cover referential integrity, types of relationship, one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many, and how we can create these relationships between the tables. 